absolutely beautiful Labor Day weekend now, Allison. Mm -hmm. Some people might have the day off tomorrow. Will it be yeah. a good day to get outside? <laughs> yes, yeah? it will be a good day to go ahead and get outside and enjoy it. One last pool day for folks, but uh, <laughs> it will be hot and we do have a slight chance of some showers. I mean, just a typical summertime forecast for tomorrow and Tuesday, actually. But then things do start to change, <laughs> so let's get right into it. Let's go ahead and switch over to Pinpoint Doppler and you can see what's going on with the big picture. Now you can see off to our northwest, there's a little bit of ruckus going on over there, but not here in eastern Kentucky. So some good news there. We are seeing nice clean sweeps on our radar, which is what we expected for this time of night. And we're going to continue to see the clean sweeps throughout the rest of the night and into the morning tomorrow. Temperatures right now 76 in Jackson, 73 for London, 70 degrees over in Somerset and 72 over in Paintsville. Throughout the rest of the night and early into your morning, we're expecting temperatures to drop down to the upper 60s and then down to the mid 60s for our final temperature as you're walking out the door in the morning. I do expect to see some patchy fog. Our skies are going to clear out, so watch for that patchy fog early in the morning tomorrow, but then things will start to clear up right around 9 o'clock. And then from there, skies are going to be sunny and it is going to be a gorgeous but hot day. Temperatures tomorrow topping out in the upper 80s for most folks, even 90s for some. So if you're planning on heading outside tomorrow to hit uh, any of the lakes or any of the trails, well, go ahead and pack lots of water because it is going to be very hot out there. Now, we are expecting a slight chance of some showers in the morning, but I, or in the afternoon, rather. But I do expect most of those showers, if any, to be more concentrated towards the Virginia and Tennessee borders. Now, as we head throughout the rest of your day tomorrow, things are going to be rather clear as we he uh, start the day off, but then come the afternoon, like I said, we do have that slight chance of some showers and thunderstorms developing. And then from there, things will calm down, much like today. Things are going to calm down as the sun starts to set. And then by Tuesday morning, we could see some fog again because our skies are going to be nice and clear, allowing for some fog to develop. By Tuesday afternoon, we could have another chance of some showers coming into play, but then things again will clear out Tuesday night as we head into your Wednesday. Now, as far as tomorrow goes, the patchy fog will clear before lunchtime, and then from there, skies are going to be nice and sunny, and then after that, we do have that slight chance of showers between 5 and around uh, 7 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, so we do have a very slight chance of some showers and thunderstorms developing, but again, I do expect most of the showers and thunderstorms to start to develop closer to the Virginia and Tennessee borders. Now, temperatures tomorrow are going to be very hot, so we're topping out in the upper 80s, even potentially the lower 90s for some folks. And then from there on out, temperatures stay hot on Tuesday. Again, another day of temperatures topping out in the upper 80s with a straight chance of showers in the afternoon. And then from there, we are expecting things to kind of kick up as far as, those, as the rain activity goes. To, uh, Wednesday afternoon, we're expecting to see more scattered showers and thunderstorms developing. And then from there, Thursday, we do have another chance of rain, and that rain chance actually, actually lasts all day as a cold front continues to make its way through the Commonwealth. But you can see with that rain does come cooler <laughs> temperatures. So a silver lining there, Angela. We do have cooler temperatures on the way by next weekend, but we do have to deal with that rain first. So. Well, it looks like it's going to be a nice Labor Day for folks that have the day off and yes. they can have the chance to get outside, and then I'm always down for the cooler temperatures. <laughs> so. Me too, <laughs> especially after this heat. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Thank you so much, Allison. No well, coming up next in sports. We're going to enjoy this tonight, and we're going to go back to work, and we're going to become a good football team. Despite just a seven-point win over Louisiana Lafayette, head coach Mark Stoops is thrilled to have a 1-0 record.